Time is just coming up to 6.30. Latest news and sport coming up in a moment. Also on breakfast this morning, 20-year-old Morgan Hare was murdered last year. Now his father is fighting for the rights to access his memories from his computer. He'll be here to tell us why he's found it so hard. It's not the oldest language. in just a few minutes time for us now losing a loved one is a devastating experience but for those left behind pictures and videos can often offer some comfort well for the family of morgan hare who died last year trying to get hold of some of those memories hasn't been as easy as they might have thought yes the technology company apple have prevented morgan's parents from being able to unlock their son's computer because of their privacy policy his parents call it to join us now. Very good morning to you. Morning. So sorry for your loss. Uh, and you, what's happened is you've obviously had to deal with an awful situation. And then you're thinking that you can access some of your son's records for your own reasons, so you have memories. What, just tell us what happened when you first tried to do that. Um, Morgan obviously did print out some of his own photographs from his um, time. He had a camera that we also used and he saved a lot of the data onto hard drives, so we were able to access some of that. The most recent purchase was his MacBook computer, which he loved, and he composed music on, and obviously there's photographic evidence from his, tele from his phone, and we just haven't been able to get into it at all. Um, so, and it's really important for you to get hold of that, because it's memories, and it's, um, in some ways, I suppose, his legacy as well. Yes, yeah. Well, he was a musician, he went to music college, he um, loved music and he, he did a lot of composing on that MacBook, which we knew of because we could hear it yes. while it was going on, yeah. And his friends came down and they also did stuff with him on it. So, Colin, just talk us through the, the sequence of events. So, you, obviously, you have the computer, which you own because that's part of his estate. Sure. So, you open up the computer and you try to put in a password, well, which we, you thought you might be able to guess, yeah. presumably. But nothing. We couldn't get, we couldn't get into the MacBook. Um, no. We contacted Apple, um, and they were very helpful to start with. Um, and then we found out through Apple that his Mac is actually encrypted. Uh, so therefore, we need a court order to access the data on there. Um, if you knew the password, would you be able to get in? I, I think so. Right, you don't but, even but know. But we the don't password. know what the password would be. We've tried many things. Yes. But it is locked. Um, and I'll just, um, I know you're going to explain to us, but Apple have given a statement um, and they expressed their sympathies to you as well. And they say, in the absence of permission for third party access to an account, it's impossible to be certain what access the user would have wanted. And we do not consider it's appropriate for Apple to make the decision. Um, and then it says, however, in such cases, we can assist subject to an appropriate court order. So that's effectively what you've got to do, is it? To try and get access to your son's Yeah, that, that's what Apple say we right. need. But we've already inherited his estate. We've we've closed his bank account. We've accessed it through his pensions and everything. We because we've got a probate. Yeah. That accesses everything of your life. So we have, we own his estate in effect because it's it's been transferred to us. And it's, I suppose it's sort of in some ways you've hit against a sort of modern anomaly, haven't you? Then. Yes. Well, we were looking earlier about the Scott of the Antarctic photographs. Yes. If he would have put that on an Apple Mac. Apple would not allow you to see them. Well, what do you want to happen now? How is this going to progress? 
Well, we feel that it should be brought to the media's attention. Mm. That obviously it's not we're not the first people it's happened to. It, it's got to have happened to a lot of people, and it brings home that if anything happened to one of your loved ones, if they walked out the door and didn't come home, that you wouldn't have those photographic memories that they've taken on a phone, or which is what everybody does these days, or a video or footage. Um, that we need Apple really to think about their policy. Um, everyone else, Facebook has changed policies recently. Since this has happened to Morgan, we've found out that they've changed things. So we don't understand why we're, why Apple are being so putting a barrier up and saying that can't we come to some sort of compromise. The law of this land allows us to access everything with what we already have. Yes. And this seems to be another issue that we have to go through. Um, I suppose, I mean, you're saying that some companies have changed their policies. Um, you know, in the meantime, while, while this may you know, things happen what, what's your advice to other people is it to leave passwords is it to do you if he had written it for example in, in a will that what he wanted to happen would that have made a difference i think it probably would what apple are asking for for morgan's permission right for us to access but how many 20 year olds would write a will um it's just not really what people do mm. there will be a lot of people watching this and thinking through a sequence of events that are, you know, unimaginable yes. sequence of events. Yes. And what would happen if, um, what's your advice to someone thinking, what, what an awful position for I this think, family to be in? Yeah, I think we, we feel the same that we've said to each other now, it's like, make sure that we, somebody writes your password down or you put it in a sealed envelope or you do something just to in, in, ensure that your family and your loved ones can get it because, you know, it's, it's, it's part of their lives that you're never going to see again. And Colin, it just must be um, immensely frustrating to have, you know, there is the, yes. it's there and you just can't but access it. Morgan was a same musician, him and his, his brother were in a band, they made vinyl records. I can go now, I'll play his music on the, on the turntable, I can look at his photographs he printed out, but anything that's in that computer, I'm not allowed to access. Mm. So it's just a modern, this didn't happen 10 years ago. People weren't really using computers to the level that we are now. And I think maybe Parliament needs to look at, at this because it's, it's not about legal, it's about whether it's right, in my opinion. I know it's not been easy for you to talk about this, so thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sure you've made lots of people um, really think about it as well. So thank you so much for your time and, and best of luck as well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, let's see, the time now is 18 minutes past eight.